actually. Yeah, the, the trade peek in, it was almost Freiburg going down, but they now have a man advantage. The problem is the time. 30 seconds left to make their move. The peek out from Apex, he's not going to connect. And Blame comes in with two back. It's left all onto RPK, and he's got a rotation still to come in before he's anywhere near that site. And Freiburg will execute him before he gets the chance. Heroic onto the board. Being very patient, but not really knowing too much. And actually, the flashbang comes out, leaves MBK in a little bit of a spot. Gonna take it back in return as well. But again, 30 seconds left as they now look to try and make their move towards this A site. It's worked before, but are they gonna get caught? They will! Zywu with three aggressive picks and leaves them in trouble. It will be the cleanup as Apex gets a double himself. 4-3 now as Team Vitality take another round here. This matchup though being far more entertaining than the last one, Tom. Yeah, well, what we expect? Oh my goodness. I think the save would probably be the best option, especially with 35 seconds left for Bomb. It's such an awkward scenario, but the orbs can be taken out of hand as MBK makes it four. And this one's still just as audacious as those shotguns. Oh. Is he going to be able to get the ace? Yes, he is. A sick round from MBK. And that's an opportunity for Blame. He's going to take it as well. There's a few low players now. This is starting to get a little bit dicey for the CT side, these. And it's not looking like that's fixed just yet. Again, the clock ticks low. Nade. Oh, it could be enough. Actually, no. NATO's going to find the kill. A missed shot from Zyber as well. Gives them some space to play with. But MBK is still going. However, he falls as well. Back into this two versus two. They need to get on towards the side. Down hits the shot. And now it's left on to Zywu. That's attack looking to try and plant the bomb. Peaks out. And Zywu will just hold on. Try and spot out the tiptoes of Freiburg as he may actually just walk into the crosshair of MBK. So close there, getting spotted, but instead, Stown goes down. Blame FA able to find the frag. Not to Alex there towards B short, so maybe the B site should be the way, or the A site, excuse me, should be the way they go. Okay, careful that they are just around his angle. If they can clear him out, they have free roam oh of this B site. He <laughs> gets a kill. I, I don't know how, but that is the B site now open. The rotation going to start coming back as now we have RPK and Apex both here again. 20 seconds left on the clock. RPK, the tank kicked things off and he has to do it all. And he does as well. Three kills for RPK. I, th I think he might still have it. <laughs> this, this is pretty audacious playing a, a shotgun towards long. But lots of noise being made towards party from a few of the players here from Heroic. The off face coming in from Esetag. Not really going to work in his favor. Alex as well towards B short. Gets the exchange on to NATO, and just like that, it's all down to Stown and Blame F. Two versus two, 40 seconds remaining on the clock. For them, if they can clear out Stown on these close positions, but they don't expect him to be there. And that'll be the first, is left onto RPK again to try and clutch this one out. Peeks in, finds the first, and has to try and work out where Blame is. He gets it right, and it's close. But Blame will win the clutch this time, and it is a fourth round on the board for the Danes. Connect is a big position to have here, so this is an important duel. And this time MBK is going to win it. Stown has done some good work over into the connector, but if Heroic can steal this round away, there's a chance, and MBK goes peeking, and he's going to be punished for it. However, Zai was there with the AWP to keep that man advantage alive. The bomb's dropped, and oh, Apex, this is just cruel. He's going to go peeking in from behind. Nato expects it as well, though. Maybe he should be sticking with the rifle. He's been doing well with it in this match, at least. And brings it into a three versus three. No opportunity for a trade at all in that one. And Blame, the entry fragger extraordinaire, this time will be put down by the tank. So with the angle, no flashbang coming out, seems, from Heroic. But he manages to bait out the shot with the shoulder. But Zaiwu gets it, goes for the second as well, and finds it onto Freiburg. Nine to four. You can obviously tell Vitality put a lot of confidence and stock inside him. And Esetag have already made their way up through the monster tunnel. Yeah, they've got to be careful, though. The CTs are definitely aware they gave up this position. There is Freiburg able to pick off the first. A little bit of nade damage. And a second one for Freiburg as well. I said this would be one oh. good round to step up. And that's exactly what's happened. Freiburg with four kills in this round. The one rifle takes them over the board. And that'll be a fifth round for Heroic. But you've got to hope for heroic sake they're able to keep this fairly close. Keep that 9-6. We mentioned earlier that the last couple oh. of games they've played against. On the maps following on Nuke and Dust2. MBK trying to make it two for two there, the Deagle. 
Vitality have made the read and no surprise they've got it spot on. Zaiwu so are going to be ready and catches. S Attack and he had the bomb as well. So that's definite information that they're going to be here. The crossfire there for Alex to now pick up one more and the clock starts ticking as well. But it may not be needed. What? Freiburg has to do everything and he's giving oh. it a good go, but it isn't quite going to be enough. The pistols are enough for Vitality as they will take themselves double digits. We're going to look into. What they're going to be able to do on the CT side pistol, an aggressive start from the teaser, just going to go running oh, wow. in. Zaiwu looking to lead the charge, and NATO caught completely off guard and blind as well. Stown tries his best, but MBK will dominate him as well. And what almost looks like a little bit of a fake, considering how far back the bomb is, has just turned into what the round is now. It's like, oh, oh you killed everyone. Hasn't got a kit, but I'm not sure if Vitality would realize that just yet. Oh, nearly had the lineup there onto Apex's dome. A lot of utility already gone for the opposing side. Tag missing the shot again. We're going to start to get their move on, get their push going in towards the site. They've got to be wary of blame, but well, he's gone and so is Freiburg. And the defense just falls away as it's left onto the remaining two players. And I think it looks like NATO's already fallen into a save. Three players towards A from Heroic. Freiburg there towards Connector. Speaking of his name, Alex does go down. So four versus five early. Heroic putting a lot of stock here towards the A site, really expecting Vitality to make that move. But so far on the defaults, they have been sending three here early on. Usually Apex alone towards B short. But this time though, RPK finds one. Nearly the second as well onto NATO Sapphics, but the smoke there towards Connect is going to deny NBK from going through it and trying to get that trade frag onto NATO. In the meantime, though, Tom, ah, I was going to say Apex has made his way out towards B, but <laughs> Freiburg again silences any chance of an upset happening towards that site. Ooh, oh, Freiburg even going to take that one as well. I think saving S tag, if anything. Don't think he's here for the round win, but if he can try and take one or two weapons out of the hands of the CTs, that would be just enough. That's oh. one. As attack is low, remember, but the headshot there with the Mag 7 is enough to silence Sai Wu. Damage done onto the nade thrown in towards Monster, and while well, Apex now looking for that opening pick. Oh, the timing, but the flashbang's actually very good. He's so blind, what? he doesn't realize they two's next to him, and somehow he ends up with two kills. The problem is, the T's have still traded two back. Quick possibility for Aztag to join the party is now we see that push in, but the clock really is ticking. Freiburg has the chance to do it all as he will pick up the kill. Trade back from RPK. They know they need to clear him, but they just can't. It's all down to Freiburg at the moment. He's trying to find MBK, but isn't able to connect the shots. And now MBK left into the one versus two. Gonna look for the crossover, but Freiburg is just tanking it at the moment. Yeah, it's definitely looked like he's here to play. It's a few of the other players you have to ask questions of. That's one of them. That's a tag. Starting things off. Footstep made, though, but maybe that's part of the game as the flashbang comes through. How does... <laughs> I guess Alex must have been blinded. That's the only real explanation for not being able to connect the shot there. Clock ticking away. Sub 20 seconds as they look to try and get into this A site. Smoke going to be going down. Stown already picking up one, and while well, they're falling apart, Alex is trying to save the AWP, and it isn't going to happen again. Freiburg stepping up to the plate. A lot indeed. B short has been a uh, point of contention for both these teams. Alex now going for the spam back, but blame F. I saw the war bank. It's actually towards the playground there, towards the A half of the map. It's like, woo, uncharacteristic whiff there on towards the players at B. Stown at that. So, players dropping one by one here, all down to Alex towards the B-bomb. So he has the bomb at least, has a silver lining, but there's four players here. We're going to be taking him down. 14 to 11, and all of a sudden, Tom, you blink and you miss it. Tunnel all towards the sewer tunnel there at B-Short, and as I say, that he does walk through it and walk straight into his demise there. That's MBK. They left as well catching Zaiwu off guard, five versus three. It seems like now, Tom, the aggression coming out from Heroic has really started to find some success here as it's down to RPK and Alex, and it's looking very likely we witnessed that 14-13 scoreline. Yeah, they're almost starting to dominate. Excuse me. It was something close to that either, yeah. either way. Uh, but yeah, definitely been a lot more quiet here on this T side. Here we go, though. Already NATO through the smoke, able to pick off the first, but they have gained quite a bit of ground. They've got to be a bit careful here as MBK is going to find one Apex with another. We know how powerful the pistols from this side can be. MBK with that deagle has found one headshot already. Could try and make it two. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Blaine F goes down. S attack now with the AWP and the one versus two. But the bomb is in the open. This is the advantage he may have. If he whips out the pistol especially, he could definitely be claiming the clutch here as he is. So close towards that B default bomb side as he comes here with the off angle towards the pillar. Alex is caught off guard by the body shot. And the Deagle is so close to be able to take down MBK. And there it is, the clutch from S attack. Exactly where S attack wants them, directly in his scope. Blame here, footsteps there. I think he has. He definitely knows that there's players around these angles. Just wary of players being along, but he knows that they're pre fires and gets himself to possibly the most crucial double we've seen from Heroic so far as he gives them a 5v2. As they were so far behind, they now look to take this over the line as Zaiwu and Alex, the two newest members joining this trio to try and turn this back and left onto the man himself. It cannot be done. Heroic win 11 rounds in a row on the CT side to close out a map that I can safely say we never believed they were going to be taking. Sort of surprising that uh, he had such a big game. Like, as I said, it's something we haven't seen for a long time. And there he is again. Good start, but it is going to be traded back straight away from RPK. T side start from Vitality, but they have started strong. Two opening kills on towards that A site. Essa Tag looking to try and rotate in, but he can't do anything about the bomb plant. It's down. Spotting out MBK there. Unable to get the frag just yet. MBK wary as to the players now pushing ramp in towards radio room. And it's two players as well. NATO Safix backed up by Stown into, as we said, the four versus three. So they can now try to corner off MBK here, playing outside the squeaky door. But MBK of one, MBK as well, trying to go for that second kill as it is the exchange up close. Has the backup as well of RPK. Although, Neto Suffix with one. What a strange occurrence here towards this radio room. What on earth is going on? Neto Suffix running out of bullets. Players running out of health, apparently, as well. But it will be Alex to eventually secure the deal. 1-0 there. That was such a strange round. This is just going to leave them without too much information of whether or not there's been a rotation. S-Tag will be there. The Mag 7, $900. Even just some bonus cash is nice. As now Vitality make their way in towards a main... And eventually concluding towards the A site. S attack up close with the shotgun. Gets one. Traded out fast though by MBK. But up before Stown founds two and tries to go for the third as well to get that last one into MBK. It's not gonna be any push through it. They're just waiting patiently. Heroic taking their time. Nate gonna go through and blame will hit the shot with the USP. Heroic bounce back on the CT side. And well, looking like it's just gonna be a brute force issue for this T side, but it seems like a good read coming out from NATO. Underneath the vent is able to catch two as they tried to drop down. Freiburg also with another double onto that MP9 and Alex now left all alone. Keep money and upgrade. Now they get some free weaponry as well in the form of Freiburg and NATO with a fantastic round, a triple kill from him. But Alex should be clearing the craze. He spots the head, but actually no, blame F with the first one. You gotta be scared if you're blaming one. Well, he will eventually go down. This battle of outside has left both teams wounded. Essa Tag just waiting patiently. A standoff between the two and Zaiwu. Ever patient. He's going to get the victory. And actually, Nato's going to go down as well. It's left onto Stown and Freiburg. Maybe a position isn't checked properly, but Freiburg peeking out will give it away. And now Stown has to pull off something incredible, and MBK will spot him out. And they can go down secret. S attack here with the off. Great angle as he does pin down the first shot onto MPK. Yeah, RPK low as well. It won't matter. It's the orb doing the damage and he faces off against Zaiwu once again, but it's still just trying to buy time. He's already done enough and he gets a third as well. Zaiwu this time punished for his aggression and S attack stepping up big when needed. This is the chance to bounce straight back. Apex, however, has gained a lot of ground. It seems like Stown is more than aware that this is possible, oh. but he looks away at the wrong time. However, he turns back. Gets given a chance, and S attack with a quad kill. Can't really see it from that angle. S attack, however, is already here. The clock starting to tick, and he's actually going to go through the smoke. He's waiting for Alex, but he misses, and that's the opener they needed. S attack and NATO both go down at the same time. There's already been a rotation around the T's taking positions together, playing the anti-flash RPK. He gets one, and actually Apex oh, caught oh, out oh. without his gun in hand. Blame has got two back. Nice shot from Alex through the door, and eventually they do close it out. Yeah, it's still 10 to 7, I believe, right now. I think, I think he was 10 and 2. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Yeah, more statistics as well to come. So far, Heroic have won 10 out of their 11 entry duels thus far in this map. Goes to show how strong their entries have been on their CT side when they have been playing aggressive. But speaking of aggressive, mm. it's NATO Sapphics with two from the elevated angle that's take down RPK and Apex. But may he may be here just in time, and he is. We'll be taking down MBK. So 7 to 5 here for Heroic on their CT side. Garage. Oh, MBK, look what he's got to. Already in towards A main. Finds one onto Freiburg. It's down there. Playing towards the default side here with a train back. Three! My goodness. Now into the two versus three. Vitality have brought this one back, but it's an even exchange. Yeah, Alex, though, has caught off one more. Stown needs the ace. That should be the fourth, although it's close. And it comes out anyway. He has to train for the AK. He oh. the kill as well. An ace for the youngster. Has mentioned him as someone to watch. And... He's definitely proving it now. 20 kills to his name. Yeah, this is the caster's curse, right? But speaking of curses, Pistol's charging down an AWP, but s managed to keep his cool for one. But RPK had the fast trade back. Freiburg's made his way onto the scene. He's found one, two, and maybe the third as well, but not quite. Luckily for him, though, NATO Suffix is there Ooh. to get the spray transfer and transfer us into the second half. 10 to 5. Can Heroic try and make it the two apiece and the 2-0? Let's see then, 10-5, as you said, through the players here playing so well for Heroic. Freiburg was one of them, the last one, especially as it is going to be a cluster here towards Ram, but a cluster which ends in an even exchange. Two players apiece here for both of these teams. As Apex is towards the B-bomb site. RPK, they're playing towards A. And Blame for and Tiger are grouped up together here with the bomb towards Ram, and Apex is starting to apply the pressure here with one. Kill on to S attack as it all comes down to the very mighty. He's going to spot out Apex. Tries to fall back in within the smoke and just hope that Apex isn't going to manage some sort of fluky spam through. We will now see the rotation starting to come out from RPK, but he's actually going to be able to back away here. Now, that could be something interesting. Apex is going to try and bait him out. Starting to spam through and we'll catch him while he runs out of bullets. Apex wins that one and doesn't need the help from RPK. And that will be a sixth on the board now from Vitality. Instead, it's actually Freiburg gaining a hell of a lot of map control. The boost in for MBK, though, not going to be checked initially, and he gets two. That's more than should have been achieved there. And oh, Heroic are going to be kicking themselves. They're unable to clear him. We soon, 45 seconds left on the clock, but there you go. S Tang makes an opener, and Flamesaw plays. He misses the spray completely. That's as messy as it can get. Work wonderfully. Here's RPK coming. Hits the shot onto one, and now they know he's here. Do they expect S Tag? Oh. No, they don't. And they've turned this back. Freiburg again with a double, but S Tag with three. Based on the picks, they make the mid round decision. It's very easy going from that. But oh my God. Blame F with the flashbang from Freiburg and S Attack. It's perfect. And it's going to be in the favor of, well, Heroic now. Three versus one. MBK all on his lonesome. But he has managed to find out where one player was. But it's Blame F from above. 14 to 7. Well, I think it's something that's necessary. MBK, he's going to go down. He's been the one glimmer of hope in Vitality for this game. I don't, I'm not even sure if there's a player still. No, okay, there's two. 11 frags is the next highest fragger from him on, on Vitality. Like, th this is ridiculous. Like, you never expect Goodness. to see this many players just falling flat all at the same time. There's a couple of kills every round that seem to bring a little bit of hope back, but Heroic are dominating. 15 and 7. But up against them is Zaiwu with the AWP, even though he has been very quiet so far. But good start here for Heroic. Freiburg playing so aggressive. Oh, Theories has got one, but Apex brings it back with two. Four versus two now as the players are all going down here for Heroic. Oh. But Freiburg again. Patiently, Freiburg rounding into his crosshair. And he may have been quiet, but he's not going to miss that. Nato now left alone, going for the flash, trying to gain a little bit of ground, but what he doesn't realize is MBK is waiting just around the corner, peeks out, spots his opponent, needs this duel and won't have it. MBK continues to perform. Because yeah. it, it's going to be tough after that point to go, okay, what do we now do? Nato, quick push outside, but he's closed out by MBK. It seems like there's been an adjustment there, not playing these close angles anymore. A fallback, passive position. Aggressive S attack here is as well on his lonesome, trying to see if he can scout out the next kill onto MBK. He does see him, but misses the slight adjustment with the scope, but he does land the re shot. Oh, and the Ooh. kill as well onto Zai Wu. That was very fancy. Now, suddenly, Tom, we have a round. Just gonna be trying to avoid facing off against that angle. Oh, he it, but now Alex doesn't connect, and now Freiburg's gonna get that.
that opener as well. And now look at Stown. He's waiting, perfectly placed to take down Apex. It's left onto the tank to try and clutch this out. He knows where the youngster is, but there's nothing he can do. 30 kills coming in, or 31 in the last map from Freiburg. 29 now for Stown with a big step up from Esther Tag as well.